Hello, my friends. This is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and best-selling author of many books in cartooning. I'm published by Random House, Soho Publishing Company, and Walter Foster. And today I want to show you how to sculpt the shape of a head of a cute puppy. You start with a basic skull. Many times people just start to draw and they don't realize that you really have to construct the form first. And then you make adjustments to that construction. All right, so here we go. Here's a big head and sort of a little bit of a snout, because he's a puppy. Yeah, like that. It's going to have a small snout. All right, so here is the low eye line on a pup. We're just going to indicate this stuff. But now watch what we do. It's not going to be a strict profile, so we're going to bring this out a little bit. This is the other, see this is the eyebrow here, this is the other eyebrow. And you're going to be showing this eye on the far side. By showing the far side of the eye, you, you really make the whole face look a lot rounder than it would normally look. And that's what you really want when drawing a cute animal, is you want to look round. Alright, so let's give him a little bit of a, a little bit of a chin here. Like that, and we'll bring the we'll bring those big ears forward. And a little stripe for the nose. Okay, now that we have that, let's darken it in and see what happens. So far, so good. Look at those flowing lines. A few eyelashes come off the sides. Got a split lip right here. And a little chin, not a big chin. If you've been on my Facebook page recently, you'll see that I have a lot of these drawings because this is actually my new puppy, Fenton. Fenton is a Wellspringer Spaniel and he's a great guy. He has got uh, no off switch. None. So I relate to Fenton. I get it. Fenton, I get it. I really do. Look at that gigantic ear, huh? That's fun. You also notice that we put the, we started with the entire head. We didn't leave it off because we were going to cover it with the ear. That's a really important lesson. Here's the back ear. You always want to draw through everything because the form will look much better. You'll, you'll just have the placement better on everything. So I'm trying to give you some of those, some of those hints that will help. Put a little bit of shading here too. And there we go, a very, a very simple Fenton. I hope you liked that. If you did, please share it. And please subscribe. New videos every week. Bye-bye. And I'm the author of many popular how to draw books on everything from cartooning to manga. I upload new videos each week, so please subscribe and enjoy.